We're back now with a closer look at what has been an especially violent summer on the streets of Chicago. 55, 55 homicides in August alone, making it the deadliest month so far this year. This morning, Chicagoans woke up to news of at least 10 more people shot, two of them killed. So what's happening there that's causing this spike in violent crime and what's being done to combat it? Here's NBC's Ron Allen. In a Chicago neighborhood that's endured a long, hot, violent summer, a small yet hopeful band of residents holds yet another rally for peace. A deadly season that a few blocks away in June saw the murder of seven-year-old Heaven Sutton, shot in the back, August the deadliest month yet. Pastor Ira Acri, leading the rally, has been imploring his neighbors to help save what many fear has become a lost generation. It is a state of emergency. This is the civil rights issue of our day and time. A local newspaper publishes the names, many of them young black men killed in their teens and 20s. Often gang members, police say, locked in a drug trade that creates jobs and where disputes, even sometimes petty ones, are solved with easily accessible guns. Some of the victims are bystanders, like Jermaine Winfield, left paralyzed by his wounds, shot in three separate incidents during the past four years, even after being confined to a wheelchair. If we don't make a stand now, it's not going to be any kids left to make a stand for. Police claim they've made progress by targeting several districts in the city and that overall crime is down, and that most of the violence happens in a few specific areas. But during one recent week-long spree, at least 82 people were killed or wounded on the streets of Chicago. Those are actually lives. Last week, the mayor, with federal help, stepped up the strategy of putting more police in the city's most violent areas. And this morning, the mayor acknowledged First, the problem on Meet on the, the Press. We're making efforts, actually, to reduce the gang conflicts because it's gang-on-gang -gang issues. It does not affect the whole city, but anywhere it happens, we're going to be dealing with it. However, in Pastor Acri's neighborhood, residents say it's the gangs increasing their firepower. We're the first gun down, the last fight back. We got to fight back. Meanwhile, he prays the young voices in his youth choir you are the holy one. will survive you are to the sing for many more summer seasons to come. Ron Allen, NBC News, Chicago.